Hi guys, Big Monday here, and today I want to show you a video on uh, sort of a little comparison of is Sunray as OP as it looks? A lot of the pros, it has been getting really, really popular with Phoenix recently to uh, to pick up Phoenix, pick up a couple of early right. levels of Sunray, and it seems really, really, really powerful. So I want to show you guys first off: is it as ridiculously powerful as it seems? And I have sort of, for a long time, I've always advocated uh, usually rushing fire spirits over Sunray. Um, and I still feel that is appropriate in a lot of situations. But I just want to show you guys uh, both situations so that you, know, you can make the, the decision intelligently when it happens. So first off, just let me get Sven a little bit low here. See, one of the things with Sunray... Is Sunray also heals for about half the damage it does. One of the things that makes this such an amazing skill is it scales with HP of both your allies and your enemy. So it's really, really good against uh, high HP heroes like Axe and Pudge. Uh, because it's basically zero fucks are given on how much strength they have. It's but So think about this as it's going to take off a percentage of their health. So watch this, and also watch how much it heals the um, heals the Sven for. This is a level three Sunray, so it can go higher than this. I've done this at level five. Okay, so I'm going to pause that there so we can look over the stats. I've done this at level five because um, just to overgeneralize a bit, level five is about the point most nukers get their strongest because you'll have rushed your most powerful spell. It's the point where you you do the most damage compared to the amount of time you waste. So yeah, you can do more later and compared to so how much HP people have. Because obviously your, le your level 4 nukes are going to do more damage. But uh, a, a lot of the time with uh, most spellcasters and supports, by the time you've got your level 4, everyone's HP will have scaled up really quickly. So level 5 I think is the sort of best level to compare nukes. But anyway, so let's see how much damage we've done. Bear in mind... Sunray does pure damage, so we've done the same amount of damage to Anti-Mage as we've done to Lina, as we've done to Sven. So we've done... Uh, what's that? My math is broken. Uh, four. Is that 540 damage? That's 540 damage. Although for some reason they still don't quite line up. Lena, it's about 400. Yeah, 400. And... Why must you always interrupt my videos? Hi, Galaxy. Piss off. Okay, my, my phone is searching for white light up Lena's about 400. Okay, we, we'll ignore the phone. Phone can go away. So, yeah, Lena's done 460 damage. Which is pretty impressive considering her HP pool is only 680. The thing is this will scale. This will just go higher and higher and higher. And we've healed Sven uh, for about 200, uh, 230 health. So this is totally, totally like, disgustingly powerful. It does have a massive cost Let's in it. Get on with it. I mean, look how much uh, Phoenix's HP it's chewed through. And this is at all levels. I mean, look at this. At all levels, it's why you kind of don't ever want to... You don't really want to use um, Sunray very often. If I just put what the fuck mode on... Oops. One of the things you should note is... Sunray won't kill Your you. Bottom tower is under attack. And it takes off a percentage of your current HP. So if I continue to cast Sunray. You see it goes down slower and slower and slower. Okay, so we're gonna do an epic amount of damage over a ridiculous Your range. I mean look at that. Attack. A range we can we can track forward, go we can ch we can go over walls to chase people. It's ridiculously good. This is an uh, amazingly let's good spell. Talk about your top tower. So why would I want to rush 
Um, why would I want to rush fire spirits? Okay, the obvious one is supernova. Now, in a pub game where you can't rely on your allies to uh, to disable the enemy team when you want to cast an ult, the higher attack speed slow on fire spirits it gives you ch the chance to do a much safer ultimate. Uh, you can go much more aggressive with your ultimate, and if you can get off a couple of good ultimates, uh, you can snowball pretty well with Phoenix. If you can level rapidly with, sort of out level your opponents with Phoenix, um, you'll destroy them horribly. And then you end up with a high level Sunray anyway, and everybody's happy. So it doesn't quite do as much damage, but just to show how much damage it does, um, I'm going to cast it on the anti mage and the Lena. Notice we, you know, we don't have the insane AOE. But if I just chain these sort of four seconds apart. So you notice this time round, uh, obviously we've, line we've line not done any damage to Sven. Uh, Anti-Mage has taken slightly less damage, Lena has taken significantly more. I mean, look at that! We've done like 600 damage to Lena. Uh, the Fire Spirits are a little bit difficult to chain without overlapping them, but I mean, look at this. Even at level, um, level 3, Fire Spirits, we're doing 50 damage per second for 4 seconds for 4 Fire Spirits. So that's, if we overlap these completely, that's two, four, that's 800 damage before reduction. Let's get on with uh, it. Which is just insa insane amount of single target damage. But again, um, so fire spirits, that is not why Your we want fire spirits. The attack. reason we like fire spirits is it makes, it makes it impossible for the enemy to farm. Like if I right click Sven here, I mean look at this. I mean, I'm pretty confident that if me and this Sven both hit level 6 right now, uh, I could kill the Sven as Phoenix Your while I'm on this low HP. Attack. Because I can lower his attack speed so low, he uh, can't hit me in the time it takes tower. me to walk out of range. So if you're solo laning against someone, let's say you're against an alchemist or you're against an anti mage even if you're off lane and they're tri laning you because frankly fire spirits has a pretty broken range as well a little harder to hit but they're good range uh you can use these to shut down an enemy carry so you, you don't have as much kill potential with fire spirits although it, it does it is an insanely high kill potential you don't have as much but uh, you can stop an enemy carry farming. So if you have, I can't think of any hero in the game that is better at stopping an enemy carry farming uh, without having to uh, sort of get right in their face and bully them than uh, a phoenix is. Because even if you, even if phoenix is like 1,400 units away, he he can stop you farming, which is just insane. And when I'm talking about kill potential here, look, this fan has 400 damage. Is a phoenix who's rushing fire spirits. What I would typically try and do to kill someone is I would try and land a fire spirit, let it burn out a couple of seconds. I would dive, I would throw a spirit during the dive and right click the target during the dive. And it's not quite killed Sven, but you I mean, look how much damage that does. Sven. I mean, once this is maxed, the first spirit is going to do 270, 280 damage. The first spirit is going to do 280 damage. The the Icarus dive doesn't do that much. It's more there for the slow, so Your you can middle pick tower up. Is under right click is going to do about 60. Uh, but bear in mind, if you initiate with the first fire spirit, uh, most enemies won't run away uh, when you first hit them with a fire spirit uh, because. You know, there's no real obvious damage. It's, very, it's it's damage over time. So you hit him with the first fire spirit, then you dive and drop in the second when it's out of its duration. And what you would typically do is you would cancel your dive, sort of. So your dive arc goes like this, goes through the enemies, and then you cancel it here. And at that point, you just wait. You wait out the fire spirit duration and reapply it. Uh, and this gives you insane kill potential, but it also means you can be really aggressive. Whereas Sunray. 
strictly speaking, Sunray does more damage. Um, I can initiate on a target and be confident that they can't hit me as a Phoenix. So there, there you go. There's why one versus the other guys. I would still, in most cases, pick up um, Fire Spirits against Sunray. It's just that Sunray is more reliable damage. And it's safer damage. Uh, but... The fire spirits have their own utility, so I would say if you're if you're in an off lane or one v one situation, I would go with uh, fire spirits. If you're you in really a should look at your bottom tower. and you're up against a lot of heroes, or there's a lot of heroes on your side where you are, I would go with uh, Sunray. So there you go, guys. Go play Phoenix. Be a good Phoenix rather than the trash I keep seeing in pubs. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.